All right. Hello, everybody. Um, to kind of inspire you, I have built a deck. Um, I've never really ran it in A4 or anything. I've just kind of ran it in some uh, tournament practice rooms, and it does okay. This is just really a deck to inspire you to get your deck building um, juices flowing, so to speak, because I'm going to do, if you saw in one of my videos, a constructed um, series where you guys build the deck. So as soon as I hit 200 subscribers, I'm going to upload a video and explain how it works. But basically how it's going to work is um, you guys are going to comment on what you would like a deck to be like. So like I'll say, what do you want the theme to be? And then you'll say goblins or something. I don't know. And whoever has the highest rated comment on the video is uh, what's going to be the deck. And then from there, you take it and you say, okay, what card would you automatically include? What's the next card? What's the next card? What's the next card? Etc. until you have a deck. And we'll kind of figure out the rest of it on the way as we're doing it. And based upon your comments in the video. But on to this deck. Um, mostly, basically, uh, wins with Luminar Ascension. So, I mean, this deck definitely is flawed. It can't beat Mono Green, I don't think, because they had, you know, Acidic Slime and, um, I don't know, the Enchantment, but our uh, Enchantment removal card for one green, or Naturalize. All right, so, yeah, there's a lot of ways to deal with this, but, I mean, um, against, like, Eldrazi does okay. Because they're not killing you until like turn five anyway. We have usually turn four. Uh, because we're running kind of proliferate cards. Um, this is really sweet with like these ever flowing ever flowing chalices and tumble magnet. It's also cool with Jace because this becomes draw a card. And then we have this mass here, which I don't know if it's good or not, but it seemed like it would. Uh, be appropriate in this deck and I have a Sun Titan in here. Probably should be another Sun Titan but uh, kind of on a budget right now and if I'm going to spend money on uh, this next deck that you guys are going to build, which I will be, I'd rather spend money on that rather than some just random deck that I'm building. Um, that's basically it. We got Spreading Seas and we have two Tectonic Edges for you know Valakit. And we we have two ley lines main just for Valakit. And on this to the sideboard, we have two more in the main deck. Because they ep don't ever kill this. They can't ever kill you. Because you have tumble magnets. So they can get all the lands they want. And it doesn't matter. Or you have angels to block all of their stuff, like their stupid Eldrazi even. So if you get to the late game enough, you can start making enough angels to annihilate, or just tapping them, which happens more often than you might think. We have a Ratchet Bomb. We only have one because that's all I've opened, <laughs> and we got Mana Leaks, and we have Rite of Replication again for the um, ramp style decks, um, kicking this seems pretty good. I've done it a few times because, you know, your ever-flowing chalices get up to three or four and then BAM! And some mana leaks for whenever we want them. We got core fire walkers for the red decks and some black knights for uh, the vampire style decks. And Leyline's actually good against them because their Kesha and um, gatekeepers no longer do this. And I've actually had someone Kick a gatekeeper while I had this out. So they're like, oh, oops. <laughs> and they sacked a creature. Granted, it was a blood ghast, but no, they sacked a uh, gatekeeper. So, the gatekeeper. 
So yeah, this is deck. You'll see how it runs. Uh, I'm gonna run in an eight man. Uh, most likely, what's gonna happen is round one. We're gonna play some weird deck and not draw anything. We'll lose, but that's all right. This, as I said, is to get your uh, juices flowing. Oh, day judgments too. Those are good. Didn't talk about those, but really, I don't need to talk about it. Um, yeah. Th so this is just to get your your blood flowing. Uh, it's not that expensive of a deck. The most expensive things are like the coasts um, and Sun Titan. Luminarch Centuries are like a ticket. Two tickets, really. That's the highest you're going to pay for them at the moment. So And, and it's pretty fun. Um, I don't know about the mana base. I just put four Glacier Fortresses, uh, four Sea Chrome Coasts, two Scald and Tower, three Herd Mesa. And I got four planes and I think six, no, five islands and two tech edges. New um, man lands, mainly because of money issues. They're like $30 <laughs> a piece, something like that. Um, and no big Jace because they're like a million dollars a piece. So um, we'll just have to go with a little Jace and be content with that. Good old room flare trap deck. Still have them left over. And so enough rambling on. Let's go to round one. All right. Uh, we went ahead and joined a daily event. Uh, this hand doesn't really do anything. On the draw though. That's Contagion class. If we draw Island, we'll have Jace. Draw Luminar Ascension, that'll be really good. Good enough for six. Plain Jund. Um, <laughs> what? All right. I guess we will start with. I don't know what we should start with. Sure. Let's start with Island. Gotta both the spell pierce, right? <laughs> He's F2 in through all of his steps. Ooh, we're playing probably vampires. That's what it looks like. Sign of blood. Okay. It's acceptable. Sure, we'll play that. Play Luminarch Ascension. And pass. I don't see him damaging me here, so we'll at least get one counter. Which is good. And maybe play Jace, draw a card, and then clasp Everflow and Jealous. Alright, so he gets the Jace. That's fine. You already got the Luminar Extension online. Ooh, okay. Left two mana up. Can't say that I um, dislike that. Spreading seas not going to be played. Here comes the Jace. Day judgment. See what we draw here. Mimic Vat. Okay. Definitely like that. I'm probably just going to chalice for four here, or two here, I should say. 
Um, let's draw a card first. Throw up guy. Ooh. Hmm. Chaos for two. Yeah, uh, as I said, really expensive. Shots for two, play Contagion Clasp. Seems fine. And then get a counter and proliferate. Yeah, we'll see. So now, next turn, I can most likely get a counter. Okay. That I don't mind at all. Mind Sludge. Glad I did that line of play. All right. Well, we're gonna just go ahead and proliferate. Add some counters. Let's draw a card. And we'll pass. Make a an angel end of turn. Non token creature. So that mimic vet literally does nothing unless we get um, some blast angel. Or not some blast angel, uh, sun titan. <laughs> Doesn't want to show me it. Okay. Well, game one in the bag. So he's mono black, so definitely want those, this, and the white knights. And he has mind sludge and stuff like that, so I'm gonna bring in those. Uh what to bring out though? He's probably taking out his removal. Maybe bringing in hex mages. Probably. I can see him doing that. Don't, don't actually have a sideboard. Uh, maybe a day of judgment. Didn't see any creatures. And we have um, during and nowhere for whatever he plays. Um, spreading seeds does not seem good against him. Ratchet bomb. I guess these creatures, because it looks like I'm going to win with Luminarch Ascension or White Knights. Yeah, we'll try that. I don't know if that's right, because, you know, I haven't exactly sideboarded for this matchup before. It's kind of weird. I haven't seen this deck, so we'll try this out and see if it works.